This is my captain. Yeah. What's your name? What's your name, man? Jack Sparrow. <laughs> this is my captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. Welcome back, welcome back guys. And today I'm gonna be headed up to Dallas, the Dallas area, it's such a long drive. But yeah, I'm going to Dallas, I'm gonna test drive another Viper. Right now there's only one up there that I have lined up, but there's actually three in the area. If I can get at least two of them, yeah, see at least two of them in person before I have to leave or come back home, that'll be tits, because the drive's kinda, it's kind of a far drive, but um, I want to be comfortable, so clear obviously I'm not driving this thing two hours to Dallas just to go test drive a car. I'm going to take the Beetle because I want to be comfortable. And I keep looking at the screen when I should be looking here. God damn it. Garage door closed. As you can see, because I'm driving the Porsche, Porsche, nobody gives a shit that it's pronounced Porsche. Anyway, since I'm riding in the Porsche, you see my passenger is the, uh, the stuffed animal, like I'm fucking Nick Murray. Good day everyone, it's Nick Murray here. <laughs> the Porsche guys will get that. All right, so now I'm gonna make my way up to I-35 and tackle the hordes and hordes of soccer mom traffic. Now, those of you that live in the area are probably saying to yourself right now, why don't you just start off on 317, bro? Because 317 is no longer a secret. It's a single lane fucking highway that everyone flocks to, thinking it's gonna be empty. But if you get blocked on 317, you're fucked. I'm usually stuck behind an SUV, a minivan, or a fucking truck, and you can't pass. There's a single lane, and there's jackasses in the oncoming lane. Yeah. So 317, when there's no traffic, oh yeah, it's glorious, which rarely happens anymore. I'm stuck moving slowly in a sea of minivans and fucking SUVs and these slow driving women. Minivan, minivan, SUV, SUV, SUV with camping gear on it, pootling along at housewife speed. There it is. There's always one guy up front holding up traffic. You know when you get to that crest of the hill on the highway and you can see way in the distance that there's like huge open gaps with one motherfucker holding us up. I see him. Thanks, asshole. Like seriously, why are you in this big ass truck trying to pass another big ass slow truck? And now you guys are both just blocking the fucking interstate. Pass him. Fuck me running. Pass him. Bam, found the dealership. I don't even know where I'm going. All right, I'm just keep doing my thing, keep turn doing left, my thing. Then turn right. Thank you, Lola. You can shut your whore mouth now. I have found my location. They have a valet and everything. Holy shit. I can't wait to go in there and see what they got. I need to look like a Porsche owner. Bam. Ah, need my douchebag hat and the douchebag sunglasses. Every Porsche owner needs the douchebag glasses. All I need now is a sweater vest and a set of golf clubs. You said you was trapping, now we trapped for real. Post it on the app, piss it, but don't need no deal. All right guys, so I just found the uh, Dodge Viper and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a test drive because it's in the showroom right now, as you can see. They'll probably have to squeeze it out through the uh, front doors or whatever, but I'm gonna try to talk to the salesman and see what we can do. Okay, this is what's going on. The um, the guy did the test drive with the Porsche. He went back inside to get me the appraisal. 
That was about 25 minutes ago and I'm still just, just standing around waiting. I'm wasting my precious time, time that I could be using to go test drive the other Viper. So don't let these dealers jerk you around. They take too long, they waste your time, you fucking leave, they'll call you back. So that is Texas Direct Auto. I went in there, talked to the receptionist, fill out some fucking paperwork, they put me to a salesperson. Salesperson took more of my info, she left. She's like, okay, well we're gonna need to get your car appraised. When she leaves to get, to get my car appraised, I mean, of course they're gonna need my car key, right? So she takes my car key and then takes the key for the other Viper that I'm supposed to be looking at. So she leaves with both keys. I'm like, what the fuck? So I have to wait another 10 minutes for her to track this fucking guy down for the, that does the appraisal. When he gets to me, the test drive was fine. He did that normally, no bullshit. But yeah, after he did his little fucking thing, he disappears again and I'm just sitting there fucking waiting. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? Wasting people's time. This is what these dealers do. They try to get you in there, they get your info, and they will wait and dick around with your time. They will try to wear you out so that you can make foolish buying decisions, okay? Once they start dicking you around, you fucking leave. It doesn't matter how far you came, fucking leave. They want your business, they will call you back. Okay, I'm here, I'm here, I'm pulling in. Let's see if these guys are gonna dick me around and waste my motherfucking time. All right, second dealership. You're not gonna believe what happened. All over their fucking website says, Saturday, it says Monday through Saturday, nine to five. It is now 16, 19 here. That's 419 for you civilians. And guess what? Every door is locked. These motherfuckers are not here. I actually shot this guy an email yesterday letting him know I will be in Friday or Saturday. What is your address? He sends me the address. Now I'm here. I actually show up and these motherfuckers are not open. The first dealership wasted my time and now these guys have wasted my time. Saturday, nine to five. The funny thing is I emailed all these guys a few days prior and they all started blowing up my phone like, oh yeah, come in, come in, sure, we'll be here, we'll be here. And now look, one motherfucker's had me waiting all day and now these cocksuckers don't even show up. What the f- Okay, I'm gonna try to call these cocksuckers up, see what happens. I don't normally do speakerphone, but- may be recorded for training and quality purposes. Thank you for calling Texas Vehicle Exchange. For sales, press one. Still ringing. It's just ringing. I was hoping to leave them a very pleasant voicemail. Thank you, Dallas cunts, for wasting my time. Piece of shit ass motherfuckers. Okay, just so you know who this fucking, these fucktards are. Uh, it's right there. That's Texas Vehicle Exchange. Second dealership to waste my fucking time today. Okay, so the GPS, the shut up. Shut up. The GPS is saying it's gonna take me about 18 minutes. It'll probably take me less because Porsche. Mm. All right, I am here. I am here. I'm running low on daylight, which kind of sucks. But however, I do have enough time to comfortably test drive and check out this car because these guys will be open until 9. 2100. Yep, they'll be open until 21 hundo. Alright, let's see if we can fucking find this thing. Oh, How's it going, man? What's your name? Chandler. Chandler, nice to meet you. Where's the Viper? The Viper? Yeah. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I want a brand new wheel. Scoo -scoo. I want a brand new house. I want a foreign little bitch. Ay. She put it all in her mouth. Scoo -scoo. I want it, so I'ma go get it. Scoo -scoo. I want it, so I'ma go get it. Name, introduce yourself. Justin Gregg. Justin Gregg, you were? What's going on? Chandler Elliott. <laughs> Chandler. Guy in the background, what's your name? Big Josh, man. What's Big <laughs> Josh, my brother's name. <laughs> and this guy going over the car right here. What's your name, fella? AG. AG, right there. They're gonna hopefully give me some good deals and I'll have Viper number two, hopefully. Right? Viper oh, number yeah. two? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I want it so I'ma go get it. I want it so I'ma go get it. I want a brand new wheel. I want a brand new house. Alright guys, so if it seems like I kind of ended that video suddenly and abruptly, yeah I did, I kind of, I felt like I wasted my time, that entire day got wasted. 
The first dealers, I called them. They knew I was coming. I needed the car out front, ready to roll, ready to test drive. I get there, the car's still on the, um, it's on the fucking showroom floor. How does that do me any good? Second dealers, they knew I was coming. They closed up shop early. I got zero notice. The third dealers, I called these guys up. I spoke to some front desk fucking chick. I called them up like, I called them up when I was at the second dealer so they know, you know, hey, I'm coming. I let them know I need the car front so when I get there, I can test drive. The chick was like, okay, sure, no problem. I'll let the guys know, we'll have the car ready. I get there and the fucking car is still on the showroom floor. Now, dealer one, wasted my time. Dealer two, wasted my time. Dealer three, wasted my time. I drove two fucking hours, two fucking hours to go look at these fucking cars. And these fucking places all wasted my time. I do not like having my time wasted. Now, the um, the third dealer, the last one that I went to, the there was two main salesmen. I think it was uh, Chandler and something else, some other guy. Those two guys, they actually try to help me. They're good salesmen. But the dealer, like the, the dealership itself, fucking wasted my time, man. So, um, I was actually supposed to go back up there. I was gonna go back with the Viper this time so they can do the appraisal on that and hopefully test drive this time. But, um, it's two hours away. <sighs> Fuck that. Also, I found one in, I found another one in, um, <clears throat> in Austin. A very, very good deal on a very nice car. So, um, look out for that one. If the video doesn't come out, then it fell through. But I've got a very nice one in Austin lined up for a test drive told these guys test drive so hopefully they, they they understand that shit don't let dealers jerk you around and waste your fucking time that's just annoying if you enjoyed my crappy video at all in any way share like subscribe thumbs up all that good shit later